uh, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, um, isa sa mga desire ng uh, Kristiyano, no, ng nasa Panginoong Heso Kristo, isang desire niya sa puso is to what? To please the Lord. No? To please the Lord. Fully pleasing to Him. Sabi ng verse 9, So we have continued praying for you ever since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you a complete understanding of what He wants to do in your lives and God's will. And we ask Him to make you wise with spiritual wisdom. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord. You will live a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him. Question, how do we live a life that is fully pleasing to Him? Nakikita mo yan sa sumusunod na turo ni Pablo, panalangin ni Pablo. How do we live a life? Paano tayo nagubuhay ng, uh, ng buhay, ng pamumuhay na um, kalugod-lugod sa Diyos? Diba? How can we live a life that is fully pleasing to Him? Binanggit din niya ni Pablo doon sa kanyang prayers, eh, sa mga sumusunod na verses. Eh. Anong sabi niya? Uh, a la- living a life fully pleasing to God is by way of what? Bearing fruit. Diba? Bearing fruit. Uh, let me just share that slide. <clears throat> and bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Okay. So sabi ni Pablo, panalayan ko magkaroon kayo ng sapat na kaalaman ng kalooban ng Diyos na may sapat na pag-uunawa, na karunungan, na sa gayon kayo mamuhay ng maayon sa uh, Panginoon at mabuhay ng kalugod-lugod uh, sa kanyang paningin. Right? Paano tayo mamumuhay ng kalugod-lugod sa Panginoon? Nabanggit ni Pablo yun sa kanyang prayer. Ano yun? Bearing fruit in every good work and, iisa yan ha? you bear fruit in every good work and we increase in the knowledge of God. Uh, gusto kong maintindihan natin ito, no? uh, dapat maintindihan natin na hindi lang basta bearing fruit in every good work. Kasi ilang beses na natin ito nabanggit, this will, ito ang magiging uh, pagkakaiba natin. Yan. This will differentiate us from others who also are trying to do good work. Right? Like sabi natin, the Buddhists, uh, they want to exercise patience, 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 and love. No? Uh, the Hindus, they try to embrace you know, peace, peace, peace. No? Um, it, it is good in the world, according to the world standards, those are good values, those are good works. Pero without the knowledge of God, without the knowledge about who God really is, bali wala rin yun. No? Tayo, what identifies us, what makes us different no? from them is then when we bear fruit in every good work, nagbubunga sa bawat magandang gawa na ating ginagawa, at patuloy ang ating pag kataas na ating kaalaman patungkol sa Diyos. Bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Kung good work lang kasi yun, wala. Maraming gumagawa na mabuti dyan eh. Di ba? The Roman Catholics are doing good works. Mga atheists, mga hindi naniniwala sa Diyos. But they continue to do good works. Like what? They feed the poor. They feed the hungry. Diba? Uh, nagtatayo ng mga uh, poso, patubig sa mga uh, naghihirap na bansa. No? Maraming gumagawa ng mabuting gawa. No? Maraming gumagawa ng good works. Uh, mga atheists, mga, mga kulto, mga iba't ibang organisasyon, gumagawa rin ng mabuting gawa. Anong pinagkaiba nun sa atin bilang mga anak ng Diyos? Ang pinagkaiba nun, sinabi ni Pablo, eh, panalangin niya sana tayo ay magkaroon ng sapat na kaalaman sa kalooban ng Diyos na may sapat na pag-uunawa at karunungan nang sa gayon tayo ay mamuhay ng naayon sa ating pagkahiram bilang anak ng Diyos at nang may uh, desire na, uh, to please the Lord, not f- to live a life fully pleasing before Him. How can we live a life that is fully pleasing before the Lord, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God? Okay? Mahalaga yung knowledge. Muling binanggit ni Pablo dito yung, yung knowledge. Yung good work siguro, walang problema doon. We know what is good work. Good work is what? Things that are righteous, right? Ituro ng Panginoon Jesus, these are good. No? Uh, these are perfect uh, teachings of the Lord. We, we try to follow those teachings. Hindi lang basta paggawa ng mabuti. 
but also to increase in the knowledge of God. Yun yung challenge nowadays. No? Yun yung challenge nowadays sa maraming iglesia, sa maraming simbahan o iglesia sa ngayon. No? Na yung sa halip na merong sapat na pagkakataon para turuan ang bawat isa upang dumami, no? mag-increase no? yung kanilang knowledge of God, nakalungkot, nakikita mo ngayon, hindi nabibigyan ng importance yung knowledge of God, but rather ang nabibigyan is what? Yung uh, feel good. No? <laughs> Being, uh, yung feeling good about, about the self. No? Yan ang nabibigyan ng importance. Ang sabi ni Pablo, nabubuhay tayo, that is, a, we, we live a life fully pleasing to the Lord if we bear fruit in every good work and increase in the knowledge of God. That is how we can live a life fully pleasing before God. No? The, only, the, the way why, by which we can live a life fully pleasing before Him is when we continue to have that increased knowledge of who God is and at the same time we bear fruit in doing good work. So, hindi lang basta-basta bearing fruit in every good work, kundi sinabi niya rito, uh, also um, increasing in the knowledge of who God is. No? Uh, kahalagahan ng knowledge, sabi natin, is that it uh, gives us the correct, no, the correct uh, idea, and the correct knowledge and correct understanding of who God is. No? Uh, pagka ang understanding natin of who God is is based on emotions, mali na. Remember John 17.3? Sinong may Tagalog sa inyong version ng John chapter 17 verse 3? Anong sinabi ng Panginoon Jesus doon sa kanyang communion, sa kanyang pakikipag-usap sa Diyos Ama? Anong sinabi ng Panginoon Jesus sa, sa John 17.3? John 17.3? Ah, ang buhay na walang hanggan, ang kilalanin kanila, ang isa at tunay na Diyos at si Jesus Christ na iyong sinugo. Kilalanin, alright? This is eternal life, di ba? Sa, sabi sa John 17.3. Remember, this is the Lord Jesus Christ before His, His prayer, uh, bago siya ma-aresto ma, 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 na, no? Ito yung kanyang prayer uh, to the Father, no? Kausap niya yung communion, kausap niya yung Diyos naman, sabi niya, this is eternal life that they may know you, referring to the disciples, they, your disciples, that they may know you, the Father, and hindi lang knowing the Father, and, see yun, and that they may know you and the one whom you sent, that is no less than the Lord Jesus Christ. Diba? Remember yung, yung teaching natin last time na you can, no one can claim to know God if they reject the Lord Jesus Christ because the only way we can know who God is is if And when we know the Lord Jesus Christ, because in as we said, God revealed Himself through His Son. No wonder in Abinid John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with flesh, and the Word was what, uh, and the Word was uh, uh, with us, no, dwelt among us. No? So, important the understanding natin of God is based on how Jesus revealed who God is. No, okay, so Abinid John said, and this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, no? the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one whom you sent. No? So knowledge, again, knowing God. And the only way we can know God, sabi natin, is not based on experience, but it is based on Scripture. Hindi natin pwedeng uh, i-define ang Diyos base sa ating karanasan lang. Uh, we define God based on how Scripture defines God. No? In Scripture, of course, no, that is through the revelation made by the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord Jesus has revealed everything uh, to His disciples and the disciples made it known to us. Okay? Kaya sabi natin, ang um, challenge ngayon sa mga iglesia, ang challenge ngayon sa mga simbahan is that, you know, uh, Christians, professing Christians, people who, who claim to be Christians, um, Pagdating sa, sa teaching, preaching of the word, nakita ko ito da- noon pa eh. Uh, wala. No? Uh, yung church na pinanggalingan ko, this was what, 30 years ago. 
Pagdating ng uh, worship service or worship song, talagang daming tao. Kasi masaya. Uh, talaga very, ano, very, uh, tawag ito? Very uh, uh, alive, no? Very alive. Very alive. Ganda na music, ganda na gitara, o piano, o whatever. Very alive, eh. Uh, ganda, lahat, lahat presenta. Pagdating na sa preaching ng word, o teaching ng word, unti-unti nag-aalisan na. Unti-unti nag-aalisan, no? And uh, I'm sure nakita nyo rin yan, but ako, I'm, for many years, I've witnessed that. I've seen that people would rather attend yung worship service, meaning yung singing, pero when it comes to the teaching or the preaching of the word, na, mga tao nag-aalisan na, o di kaya busy na sa laptop, busy na sa computer, busy na sa uh, kanilang panaginip, wala na, di ba? Na, 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 nalilihis na, nawawala na ng desire. Samantalang napaka-importante ng knowledge of who God is. That is how we can live a life fully pleasing before the Lord. No? When we increase, when we, when we uh, bear in every good work, bear fruit in every good work, and when we increase our knowledge of who God is. Remember, we can only know who God is through Jesus Christ. So, uh, how, how far do we know of Jesus' teachings? Diba? How far do we know Uh, of of Jesus' revelation of who the Father is. Yeah? So, sabi nga natin, it's not just believing in Jesus, it's believing in Jesus as the Christ, as the Messiah, being the Redeemer and the Savior and the Lord of all and the King of all. Yeah? Hindi lang Savior. Marami kasi, napahingin niya siguro ito, marami, they just believe in Jesus as the Savior. They believe Jesus as their Savior. Uh, yeah, naligtas ako dahil kay Jesus. But remember, our faith, sabi nga natin, is not in Jesus alone as Jesus, but rather in Jesus Christ. Meaning Jesus being the Messiah, Jesus being the Christ, Jesus being the Son of God, sent by God Himself so that His people might be redeemed and be brought into God's kingdom. But the point is that there, na we live a life fully pleasing before God If we increase our knowledge, uh, if we have an increased knowledge of who God is. Now, remember, prayer ito ni Pablo. Okay? We cannot increase our knowledge of God on our own. Okay? He is asked, hindi, hindi sinasabi ni Pablo, panalangin ko na sana uh, dumami pa ang inyong pagkakaalam sa Diyos. Hindi sinabi yun eh. But rather, he was, he, the, Paul was praying to God the Father. He's asking God the Father that through God the Father, these Christians will increase or live a life fully pleasing before God by what? Uh, by, by bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of who God is. So we cannot increase our, the knowledge on our own because that is what? It is God's work through His Word. All right, through His Word. Kaya nga nandiyan yung Word eh. Nandiyan yung Scripture eh. So that patuloy nating uh, pinag-aaralan, patuloy nating uh, binabasa at inuunawa, doing so, by doing so, nagkakaroon tayo ng pag-increase ng knowledge of who God is. So dati natin, alam natin, no? God is love, God does not get angry. Pero hindi, pag nakita mo yung scripture pala, God hates wickedness. And there is judgment that awaits those who embrace and those who love wickedness. Diba? So makikita mo doon that God is not just God of love as defined by the world. No, the world defines God as ah, God is love. Everyone will be saved. That is what universalists claim. You know, he's universalist. Eh? God's love is so big that He will love everyone else, regardless of who you are, regardless of your, you know, of your state. No? That is wrong by itself. Kung yun lang, kung titigil ka na don, no? because if you reject His Son, if you deny His, deny. The, the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ, pag pinagkakaila mo yung katauhan mismo ng, ng, His, ng Panginoon Jesus bilang uh, Messiah, bilang Kristo, wala. Uh, sabi na, eternal death awaits you because He rejected uh, righteousness in Christ Jesus. You, you denied, you rejected uh, the Son of, of God. So, hindi lang basta, basta uh, yun nga, yung definition ng buong mundo na yung universalist. Definition ng universalist na God is love, God is so big, God's love is so big that you know, uh, He will love everyone else regardless of who you are. Uh, that is wrong in itself because uh, God's love is so great 
that he has provided a way of salvation to his people, and that salvation is in Christ Jesus. Whoever embraces the Lord Jesus Christ, eternal life awaits them, but whoever rejects and denies the Lord Jesus Christ, um, eternal damnation awaits them. Makita natin yan sa Thessalonians nung pinag-aralan din natin yan. No? from the dead and he is Lord